So what is an extraordinary call of life? What would a magnificent life be? It's not for me to define. It's for you to define on your terms. To me, an extraordinary life is life on your terms. What would it look like if you really truly, without bullshit, without exaggeration, could look yourself in the mirror and say, holy shit, look what I created. Most of things that happen in life, you have no control over. You don't control your parents, where you're born, when you were born, what era, really what schools you go to, anything like that. And then beyond that, just things happen to you. And, and so the way I look at it, maybe 95, 96% of what happens in life, you have no control over. <laughs> but you have a little margin of control. And power is the ability to increase that tiny little margin to four, five, six percent. The, the gist of it is controlling yourself, self-mastery. Power begins from within. If you're going to get anything out of life, you've got to throw your whole self at it. You know, you've got to throw your whole self at it. You can't go through life with a maybe attitude and expect to get anywhere. Right? You can't go through life and say, well, maybe this is going to work out for maybe, maybe, maybe. You've got to have some, something about you that says must. You've got to have a must attitude. A lot of people right now going after their dreams, wondering why they're not getting in red. Wondering why they're not moving forward. Because you're going through life with your brakes on. The only way you're going to get results in your life to achieve your goals, your dreams, your desires is through taking massive action. Take action, take action, take action. That should be your mantra in your head all day, all throughout the day, all throughout the week, all throughout the month. You do that, you take massive, massive action, and see what's gonna happen in your life. Your life's gonna change. You can make the commitment to your life that you don't like the results that you have and that you're gonna do something about it. See, that power is available to all of us. Today, I begin a new life. Today I shed my old skin, which had too long suffered the bruises of failure and the wounds of mediocrity. Today I am born anew, and my birthplace is a vineyard where there is fruit for all. To, you know, to create a business, you've got to initially work day and night, weekends. It's really hard work. To do everything you can um, to to, you know, to survive and not to give up. Um, you know, as long as you try everything you can, uh, then if you fail, um, you'll, sleep, you'll sleep okay. The most important decision of your life is deciding whether you're truly committed to being happy no matter what. Because life is gonna throw all kinds of curveballs at all of us. So the secret to real happiness is progress. Progress equals happiness, and if we can make progress on a regular basis, we feel alive. See, the universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. Don't get caught up in, well, I've tried it four or five times and things didn't work out. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for it, you've got to do whatever is necessary until. And when you give the best you can and that's not enough, you must do what is required. There's something in you that said, there's a bigger life waiting for me, calling my name. There's something in you that says, I'm on my way to a greater life. Entire life changes in a moment. Yes, that say I. Problems are what make us grow. Authenticity will lead to a rich life. Life is always happening for us, not to us. Yeah. And don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. First of all, you were born a human. Right. Let's start with, like, we could have been fucking ladybugs. Right. Do you know the math around becoming a human? The math is insane. It is through the disaster, it is through the adversity that our strength is developed. If everything went the way you wanted it to go, you wouldn't have anything to exercise by. It's a, it's a gymnasium of life where you get the workout, the resistance, and you find out things about yourself that you didn't know. The biggest poison in us is regret. One fucking life. One life, my friends. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, 
If you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will.